gusto ko talaga na maging na makapasok sa Hollywood kasi nga po gusto ko talaga na makita nila yung talent nating mga Pilipino. And also I'm not just um representing Filipinos. I'm also representing like the halves, you know? Cuz usually lagging lagging may debate na oh you're not Filipino enough. Oh you're not Japanese enough, 'di ba? Ko sana ko enough. <laughs> It's such an amazing experience and it really took time for me to for it to actually sink in. Tapos syempre, 'di ba? Kasi can't you know, it's like a lot of actors and actresses from around the globe that's their biggest dream. And for me to be there representing both Japan and the Philippines, it's such a dream come true and it's such an honor to be there. Tapos, ayun, grabe. Um, ang saya-saya lang. <laughs> I watched some of your interviews and you said na parang sobrang hectic ng schedule, mm-hmm. sobrang tight, ganyan. Yeah. And what did you appreciate most about it? Being surrounded by a lot of creatives and a lot of talented people in just like one place, it's, it's so surreal. And especially, I appreciated like everyone's like how i can see everyone's efforts mm-hmm. and that it's like m- may nangyayari din sa lahat ng effort namin and how like all the audiences are all you know like the reviews and such they're all they all like the movie so nakakatouch lang talaga so that's like especially i think my most memorable moment in Cannes was when they gave us the standing ovation and for me honestly i didn't even know that it was five minutes long or something because it, it, yeah it felt so it felt so fast because i remember you know in cans they're very strict with their schedule so another movie has to come in like another like set of people have to come in so i remember we were like getting like kicked out like all of us <laughs> in the theater while we were all like you know hugging and while we were um you know while they were still like applauding us so how much daw of filipino blood do you have in you like maybe he wants to know kung like which side of the family ang filipino and which side um japanese ganyan but my dad po is japanese and my mom po is my mom is the filipino side like my filipino last name is Miranda. I moved here po in Japan when I was 18. Pero ah. nung sa Philippines po ko, I lived in multiple places like um, Quezon City, Cainta, San Pedro Laguna, Wow, Ranyake. So yeah, it's a lover. I, I usually stayed with my relatives, um, with my grandma, with my cousins. Yeah, How did your parents meet? Um, So it's kind of cute how they met. So my mom she's a singer and mm-hmm. my dad he uh he's a businessman in the Philippines I'm uh, sorry in Japan mm-hmm. but he's also a musician so yung kwento nila sa akin my dad told my dad's version of the story okay. was that um was this he saw my mom and she was playing her guitar like before her show And since my dad is also a musician, nabita niya yung mama ko, sabi niya, out of tune yung gitara mo. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, ayun, <laughs> nagalit si mama. <laughs> And the <laughs> history. Gusto ko lang malaman how it happened, yung paano nag-transpire that you ended up yeah, getting the role. Uh, so, no time na yun, kasi during pandemic siya, and then uh, during the... The production is about to start, but mm-hmm. then the what's this? The borders, the Japanese borders went up, so no one can come. Uh-huh. In. So they needed a Filipina actress, and that's how they found me here. For like, because I remember they cast me 14 days, 11 days before the production started, so it was very short, short notice. So I was just really just watching a lot of. Uh, like was this Angel Luxin and Angelica Paniban videos. I was such a huge fan of them. 
um, back then, you know, when I was living in the Philippines and they're really great actresses. And at the same time, during the shooting in the set, we had Sir David, our accent coach, and he's really amazing as well, you know, like, because I also needed to have a Filipino accent in my Japanese. Do you also have plans of pursuing a Hollywood career? Of course, that has always been the goal. <laughs> Ever since bata pa lang. Pero nung, nung talagang nagpunta na ako dito sa Japan, sabi ko talaga, seseryosohin ko yung acting, ganyan. Pero kasi dito sa Japan, kapag sumali ka sa agency, kasali na yung modeling. Pero so, syempre, gusto ko talaga na maging, na makapasok sa Hollywood. Kasi nga po, gusto ko talaga na makita nila yung talent nating mga Pilipino. And also, I'm not just um, representing Filipinos. I'm also representing like the halves. You know? Uh, like, yung mga half. Half Japanese, half Filipino. Because usually lagging lagging may debate na, oh, you're not Filipino enough. Oh, you're not Japanese enough. Diba? Ko, Saan ako enough? <laughs> if you want to work in the Philippines as an mm. actress, a professional actress, that mm. was like, will you be willing to relocate relocate here? Oh, or, naman. Yeah. Siyempre. Diba? Mas yeah. malapit yung lola ko dyan tsaka Jollibee. <laughs> <laughs> so, ito, last na lang. Um, ano yung laman ng dasal mo this day? My number one um, was this. It's my, it's for my grandma. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. Um, so my grandma, <laughs> um, she yeah. was recently um, hospitalized. So <laughs> um, that's really like my number one prayer is that she'll be okay. And that we'll still meet each other like, in person again in the Philippines kasi sabi ko sa kanya nagpromise ko sa akin magjojollibee tayo ulit pag uwi ko so yun talaga yung number one prayer ko talaga sa kanya she was my rock you know in the Philippines ano talaga siya talaga yung like whenever i do something i really dedicated to her you know 